Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Texan PL360 and we'll perform a daytime medium wave band scan. Current time is 2.42 p.m. Central Daylight Savings Time near Chicago, Illinois. During this video we'll be using the external AM antenna that comes with the radio and we're also going to showcase the Texan AM200 directly connected to the radio so you can see the differences and we're also going to direct connect the C-Crane twin coil ferrite system. So you can see the differences of what each one gives you. All right, so let's get started. Quick turn this on. Oh, jam it away. So what I did here is I set this up so I can go really fast on tuning. This uh, radio has a slow and fast, and a lot of times you'll go slow and it'll go fast by mistake. So what I did is I saved every 10 kilohertz on my memory mode. So as you see me tune, it's tuning in 10k steps, which is really nice because it's tuning through those presets all the way up to 1520. And then from there I have to manually go slow and easy. So here's 520. Shouldn't be anything here. Do I have anything producing noise? Nope. Okay, so let's go up to 530. Shouldn't be anything yet. In the evening time I do get a station. This is 540 WUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. I'm going to go towards the middle of the dial when we go to do the loop and twin coil. So if you're watching that and you want to see the differences, it'll probably be towards the middle of the span scheme. Horrific shooting that took place. I mean, it's like they have no shame at all. Considering the history of Trump. This is 560 WIND Chicago. And, relate, and I've known, how many, we've known, we knew, we've been really good friends with Prime Minister Netanyahu. This is 580 WILL -I Urbana, Illinois. This is 590 WKZO. WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. See, there's a semi that stopped a little bit past this vehicle that's on fire, and um, I, I, don't, I don't know if the looks like maybe... This is 620 to be TMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Kind of tangled. Don't know for sure exactly. All I know is... It's a mess if you're coming northbound from Kenosha. Music here on 640 is WMFN, Pietone, Illinois. Seventy WSCR the score Chicago. And obviously, it's a really small sample, and we'll see. But that contract. Host city as well. Yeah, they're not maybe for all the bachelor parties that was. Did you see that story, I Justin? Seven you know, WGN like, Chicago. The go-to spot now for bachelor right. parties and bachelorette parties. <laughs> there was a news report of all these ticked-off bachelor bachelorettes because they. Won't WNDZ, Portage, Indiana. Seven eighty to WBM Chicago. Hi, I'm Jill Schlesinger, host of the Jill on Money podcast, presented by Marcus by. Go 
community kind of gave a sigh of relief. Yeah. Because they weren't sure what kind of a relationship. 820 WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois, about 40 miles away. Business interests in the city of Chicago and the fact that she did get a. <laughs> W-A-I-T, Crystal Lake, Illinois. This is W-K-A-R, East Lansing, Michigan. I'm going to just have a little fun here. I'm not going to do direct connection yet. Bring the passive loop in. So there you go. I think we got call letters there. Uh, this is right up in the middle of the loop, um, which is the best signal gain. That's what we're going to show you too. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit. So let's go ahead and keep going. So that works. Nice. So the passive loop is nice to use. But if you want to see what the C green can do, let's go ahead and try that out. Now the coil, I have to keep three feet off camera. So here's the coil within arm's reach. And I'm just going to set this over here in the direction that that signal will be coming in. Here's the control box for the said coil. And what we're going to do is just turn it on, get close to our station here, and I'm going to bring in the feeder bar, show you how that works. So let's do the side here. So we have this little feeder bar, we'll set it right up next to it. There you go, you can see the gain difference. It's quite substantial. Um, and we'll talk about the best setup. So let's go ahead and just push it off the side. Turn that back off, no interference. Okay, let's keep going. Radical anti-Semite, you have to defend her. Here's WLS Chicago. The Ben Shapiro show. Yeah, what if that Curry foul out and give rockets and give the rockets possession of the basketball? So Steph Curry has this is a uh, W-O-K-Y, the Big Badger in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is 9.30, uh, WBKM, Sam Jonah, no, she's a different station now. WNTA, or like it's in Wisconsin. So this is uh, WNTA Chicago. Okay, this is uh, WHA Madison. We're going to come back to it. Um, <laughs> that's the station I wanted to use for the test. So let's go up a little bit. WMDP, Chicago, Illinois, 1000. WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. Uh, 
harder to recruit quality candidates for law enforcement. Yeah. There's 1050 to be LIP to Wisconsin. One source would be people who were retiring from the military or leaving the military. Here we go. WTSO Medicine, Wisconsin. So this is a semi local daytime station. This is a good one to demo. So what I'm going to do here, you can look at the display. We've got a 28, 11, 29, 13. Looking for our best signal. It's probably right in that direction. So what we'll do is we'll bring in the passive loop. See how much of a game we get with that without hooking it up. Bring it up in the middle. So we have about 30, 38, 18, 38, 14, 38, 19, 39, 16. Nice. So that's the ferrite coil lined up with the passive loop. Okay. So now what we're going to do is turn this off and we're going to disconnect this. So every time I do this, I'm going to be powering it on and off. I'm going to, since we're in the right direction for the loop, we're going to hook up the loop, leave it right where it's tuned, and then we'll plug this directly in. So I'm directly connected to the loop. Let's go ahead and turn this on here. So what I've noticed um, is the loop directly connected gives me about the same strength signal as this does, but uh, this allows me to be a little bit more remote. I'm not sure how long of a wire I can use, but I'm using a three foot patch cable here. It's a simple one eighth to one eighth, male to male, uh, mono jack. So this radio can be in any position. But if I change the position of the loop, you see the game go down. Okay. So you can see you get close to the same. If I played around with it a little bit, sometimes uh, you get the same or slightly better depending on the situation. But uh, there we go, 39. Okay. So there you go, we got a 40. So there you go. Let's go ahead and power this off. Unplug this. Now what I'm going to do is direct connect it to the C crane twin coil because people wanted to see that too. So you're seeing this all on the same station. I just got to change the coil position. I'm plugging it into the control box here. Control box could be in any angle. Let me just adjust my coil here. We're going to aim it towards where that station is, just like the loop is. We're going to move the loop out of the way. So this is going to go away from the table. Okay, so now we're going to turn the radio back on. Should be like a reception. Turn this on. And we'll tune this up. The fine tuning. Looking for the best game. There we go, saw 50 there. Okay, so there you are, 50, 25. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this off. And then the fun part, of course, is hooking this back up and showing a direct feed of this twin coil. Of course, it could be any direction here, which is nice. 
I could have done that with the radio too when it was directly connected. Now I'm going to hook up the feeder bar here. This is the feeder bar. And I'm going to hook that up to the control box. And we're going to bring that into the radio here. Let's go ahead and turn this on. I don't know if he's going to go there, but I would think he's going to miss a few games. So then they have to judge, okay, how do we do this? Do we want him, I mean, they don't want him to miss any more than he has to, so I would, my guess is they don't put him on the IL, but we'll, we'll likely find that out later this afternoon. They're home with the Rockies tonight, first of a 10-game homestand to get healthy, and, and the Brewers are a game over. Okay, there we go. So we're going to keep on going with this band scan, but you got to see the different devices in action. You can see how much gain you're getting. You're getting a ton of gain from that twin coil. It's definitely worth the investment if you're looking at a twin coil and you're a medium wave listener and you, you, medium wave is all about what you listen to and you want the best of the best. Uh, this twin coil is the one to get. Uh, the passive loop does a well, good job when you're using the ferrite uh, antenna here along with the loop. Um, direct connecting it does not give you better results, but using the both together do. Um, also, uh, you can save money that way, but you're going to get the best results using this with the feeder bar on the side here. Now you can direct connect, which is nice, um, but the feeder bar it really boosts the game. So there you go. It gives you some ideas. All right, let's keep going here. WNWI, Oakland, Illinois. Eleven ten WMBI Chicago Illinois. Presentado por el Departamento de Salud y Servicios Humanos y the Ad Council. Oh, that list is very short. Pheasant Park Resort, but the list of reasons why. WISN Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Fireplace, double whirlpool. For reservations, call one eight hundred three nine two thirty nine twenty one or visit pheasantparkresort.com. Over patio. Hi, this is Diane Chamnus. Tune in to Business Solutions. Off limits. Better Together is real friends getting together for real conversation. It's more than just a TV show. It's your daily destination for love, friendship, Chicago. and community. It's Better Together. Weekdays, 1.30 Eastern. The FBI says it received a tip about a social media post described as threatening five minutes before Saturday's shooting at a synagogue. Okay, this is 1180. Um, this is WSQR, the squirrel, Sycamore, Illinois. Okay, they did say the call letters, WRTO, Chicago only. Twelve twenty WKRS, Waukegan only. Saturday synagogue shooting near San Diego that left a woman dead. He is expected to face eight crime charges in addition to homicide. 1230 is WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin. I mean, time heard his family apologizing in a statement read by attorney. 1240 is WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. Twelve eighty is WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. There's a music station on twelve ninety. Um, w, uh, WZTI. Now, if I bring in the coil, I'm sure I could bring it out, but uh, yeah, for time, we're going to keep going. WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. Okay, they just said it. Madison, Wisconsin. WRBA. Okay. 
to around $2 million of the Mooney Project money coming from TIF funds that were set to go to a hotel project in the St. Mary's Hospital building until the city council ended that project's preliminary agreement. 1360 is WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. The Mooney proposal to the boards for their taxing bodies for fees. Music there on 1380 is WBEL, South Beloit. Music there, WGRB, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Fourteen hundreds, WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin. WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. Compromise Brexit deal, although neither side sounds optimistic about WEEF, Deerfield, Illinois. Fourteen forty, WROK, Rockford. WCEV, Cicero, Illinois. Fourteen sixty WJTI, West Ellis, Wisconsin. Not really getting much. We got Iron Country on uh, WGEZ, Bullet, Wisconsin. Music on WPJX, Zion, Illinois. Yep, I guess I've pretty close to record. So let's go ahead and turn off the EBM mode. Manually tune it. Fifteen thirty WCKG on the phone. We're to come back to 1530, I think, and see if we can boost that. WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. Here on 1590 WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, broadcasting from the Dollar Car Rental Studios. The problem with this tuner is you can go really fast past it if you start going too quickly on the dial. Hazardous road. This is WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. Sixteen seventy WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. Down 
There you go. I got the call letters for WBON Chicago on 1690. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down to 1540, I think, is where we wanted to see if I could get that signal to come in better. 1540 is WPTT Hartford, Wisconsin. Actually, maybe it was 1530, you know? Yeah, it's one of those things like going back in time. All right, let's go 1530 and see what that signal was like. Okay, so this is 1530. We're going to bring in the passive loop. And 200. Okay, so again, getting the best gain, I'm lifting it, getting that uh, this bar into the middle of the loop. That's where you get the best gain. You can use a little box or something to hold this radio up, or use a uh, stand. I shoot uh, horizontal here, so vertical, would, you wouldn't be able to see the screen. But there we go. It's the best representation of what kind of gain you can expect. So now... We're going to bring in the C train. Let me just go ahead and move that loop off the table. I'm going to adjust the twin coil to face the direction of the station. Okay, I think I got it good there. So we're going to go ahead and this can be any direction. We're going to bring in the feeder bar here. I'm going to bring it over to the tuner so you can see what I'm doing. Just line that up. Turn this up. This is running a 9 volt battery, by the way, if you're curious. Fine-tuning. I think it was good all the way over here. Huge, dangerous play. And Clay Thompson was the most dangerous of them all, including one where he's he's like hopping towards Durant. I mean, hopping towards Harden. Like literally a couple of one time he's jumping and he lands, and then he continues hopping towards Harden. To me, if if you're hopping towards the player, that. Okay, there we go. Cool. So you got a good representation. All right. So yeah, that ends the medium wave band scan during the day. I'm going to just turn this off. Uh, this radio does have an internal antenna. I forgot to mention that to you. Um, it's a really, really super tiny ferrite antenna. Let me just show you this real quick, and then we'll end this. Um, you're not going to hear anything. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, VM mode. And it's good for strong locals. Yeah, so this, it's a little fairy antenna. It's about that long, and it's super small. <laughs> it looks like a little toothpick rack with wire. It's pretty interesting, um, but it works in locals that are strong. So I just wanted to show you that. It does work without the external antenna hooked up. It's just very limited. Yeah, most of the stations are very difficult to get, except for if they're strong. So there we go. All right, let's go turn this off. Great. So that ends the medium wave band scan of the PL360, giving you a general idea of what to expect with a twin coil, what to expect with a passive loop. Um, just some neat experimentation. I really like this radio for that. I know it's very different, uh, but it, having that direct connection is pretty cool for AM and uh, getting some uh, cool volume out of it. And I don't like the tinny speaker. Maybe you can hook up some external speakers of some kind, um, something, or probably like I would use a uh, C crane. FM transmitter and transmit that signal to a bigger uh, speaker setup uh, versus um, trying to boost it with powered speakers because sometimes that adds noise to the unit itself. 
Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give a big like. You guys are awesome. Two, if you like tech some products, like the PL360, you like this this kind of thing, what I'm doing, hit subscribe at the bell icon if you're not already subscribed. And of course, three, comment below what you think about this fun experiment with the PL360 during the daytime. I find that it's best to use the daytime frequencies to check the radio to its performance and uh, it shows you the different gains, pretty stable. At night, it's it really fluctuates quite a bit, so it's difficult to get a great, you know, um, reading on that. So there we go. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Take care and we'll see you in future episodes. Bye-bye.